showed up to the Mountain Harbor bed and breakfast and hostel here in Roan Mountain, Tennessee. Stay here tonight, tent out down by the creek. Good times. Campsite for night number one here at Mountain Harbor. The hostel was booked up, so we are tenting out. A nice spot up here in the rhododendrons. Hey, buddy. Day number one out here on the AT in Tennessee. We just left Mountain Harbor. Bed and breakfast about an hour ago, maybe a little less. Uh, today we're heading to Mountaineer Shelter area. Gonna pass a couple nice waterfalls today. I'll make sure to let you see them. Nice easy section of trail. Alright, we're approaching Jones Falls here, about uh, five and a half miles into the day so far. It's been a great day, the weather's been amazing. I think we're just going to walk right up to the falls here. This is the side trail off of the Appalachian Trail. It goes about a tenth of a mile off the trail over here to the falls. Oh wow. They look pretty freaking huge. Incredible. It's every bit of a couple hundred feet. Absolutely amazing.
This is why I come out here. All right, we're just coming down the mountain into, or I should say down to the Elk River. Absolutely gorgeous. I wish I had my fishing pole. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of fishing tomorrow night. We'll get to the Black Bear Resort Hostel. They have loner poles and they stock their stream. This is beautiful. Very, very cool. I wish it was a little warmer. Water looks very inviting. Got here at Mountaineer Falls. A little over eight miles in. And basically done for the day. All right, we got here to the Mountaineer Falls shelter. It's a pretty nice shelter. It's relatively new. Says it holds 14 people. It's actually got three levels here. We get one, two, then a third level. <laughs> Here's a third level up here. Very nice. I think I might sleep up here tonight. So we decided to hike on, ended up at this hostel. Van Gogh Hostel, about three tenths off the trail. In this little bunkhouse, we shall sleep. It's the morning of day number two. Just left the Van Gogh Hostel. Stayed in a nice little bunkhouse. It's kept us out of the wind, but it's still got pretty cold in there. The thermometer said 32 degrees inside the bunk this morning, but at least we were out of the 40 mile an hour winds. Hiking the Blue Blaze Trail here from the hostel back to the AT. We only got about 11 and a half miles today. We're going to get to the Black Bear Hostel, and hopefully tonight we'll have a heated bunk. It's a cold bitch out here. Here at the Moreland Gap Shelter, taking a little snack. Waiting on my buddy Kenny to catch up a little bit. Shelter right here along the trail. A lot of graffiti. It's been a pretty cold morning so far. Staying bundled up here to keep warm, out of the wind. Fingers are numb. Good times. Still day two. We're about eight miles in. 
Uh, we're heading down the mountain, going to the Black Bear Resort. Not too much farther to go. Dennis Cove Road. The trail keeps on going across the road over there, but we're going to hang a right here. And we are going to go to the Black Bear Resort. Where we are going to stay the night in a heated bunk. And hopefully do some trout fishing. See you when I get there. My little bunk room for the night. Pretty freaking nice. Nice and clean. Space heater. We got creekside view. Very, very cool. They sell beer, which is absolutely amazing. Hell yeah. Good place. Walk you around back here to the creek. Had an awesome night last night at the Black Bear Hostel. The place was absolutely amazing. Highly recommend it to anybody who's hiking through here. If you go to Concora instead of Black Bear, it's a foolish decision. Hiking back down Dennis Cove Road to get back to the trailhead. We're going to hike up into Laurel Gorge and hopefully see some beautiful waterfalls. Nice bridge over the Laurel Creek, right into the canyon wall there. We're going to get squeezed into the gorge. We're on day three. Just left the Watauga Lake Shelter. 
got some water I think it's the last reliable water source for a little while we are still walking our way around the perimeter of the lake actually headed to Watauga Dam right now I'm gonna walk across the top of the dam uh, we got about I don't know I guess about 15 maybe 14 miles today to the Van Deventer shelter most of the day has been relatively flat but there's a pretty good climb up to the shelter so I'm not looking forward to that I've been pretty spoiled today but I'm still feeling good still in high spirits got the video chat with my wife and son back down at the lake so it was awesome to get to see their face but we'll check back in when we get to the dam all right coming down the access road to the dam the Watauga Dam here at Watauga Lake I'm going to walk across the top of the dam. Sorry for the shaky video. I don't have one of them fancy holders you put on the end of your hiking pole. Awesome. This side we got about a 500 foot drop or so, maybe more. Looks like it's got switchback roads for trucks, I guess. And on this side, we got the beautiful Watauga Lake. Awesome. Been looking forward to this spot. Awesome. Here we are at the Van Deventer shelter. Finally made it. It was a tough climb, hell of a tough climb. But we're here. Uh, we did something like 15, 16 miles today. Once we got up over the, up onto the ridge, the hiking got a lot easier. Let's see if I can get up here and get you this view. Oh. Looking back down on the lake that we were walking around this morning. I don't know if you can tell on this camera, but behind that first ridge is the Rhone Highlands, which is the most amazing place in the world. But here we are. I think it's about 3.30 or so. No, it's actually 10 after 4. Morning, Tuesday morning, day four. It was extremely cold last night, windy. Slept in the shelter. Didn't sleep all that great. But we got 14 and a half miles today. Hopefully it won't be so cold tonight.
Well, I might have a tough decision here to make. Got a couple things going against me now. I rolled my ankle about a half a mile back, and that's really hurt me. My water filter's frozen solid. I can't drink any water. Uh, the way it's looking, it's not going to thaw today. I think we we're already going to cancel our last two days just because it's calling for rain and snow. Yeah, we just aren't prepared for that. But I'm going to hike down to Tennessee 91 and see how I feel and make a decision from there. Well, I've been hiking along for a couple hours here. The ankle's hurting me pretty bad. I haven't been able to drink any water because my filter is busted. But I think we might have just hit the jackpot. It appears to be a trail magic box. Hopefully there is something still left in it. Let's find out. Oh my god, that's amazing. I hate Pepsi, but we're going to drink it anyway. And we're going to take a water too. Oh, we got some snack cakes. First aid supplies. fire starter and such. This could not have been better timing. Let's see who provided this trail magic for us. The Nelson Chapel Baptist Church, Mountain City, Tennessee. God bless you guys. You're awesome. <laughs>